of you, it is an August crowd and on WhatsApp group for a long time and this is the first time ever some of you, uh, I have come across with some of you, uh, it is about 10 percent of what we are, am I correct Bharat? Yes sir. 10 percent of what we are, so nice of you. Once again my hearty thanks to Bharat, he has taken this initiative of starting a WhatsApp group, it is not just group for the sake of group where we keep on sending some uh, uh, this kind of greeting messages and then uh, oh, jokes but rather far more informative, he keeps on sending whole lot of material about industrial relations, okay. And uh, whole lot of material about uh, freedom fighting movement also, so nice of you. It was a refreshing exercise because otherwise who has read, tell me honestly, who has read anything about Bhagat Singh or any other freedom fighter movement. Those uh, history books we close during our childhood and these have remained close forever. Am I correct? Yes. yes. And uh, uh, this one, uh, thanks to Bharat, he has forced us to revive our whatever learning of history is. My time given is somewhere around 45 minutes. Uh, okay. Let us see how the session goes. First and foremost, when I came, I was given a welcome and a live bouquet was given. No, what happens, the India has moved. India has moved. We, uh, uh, as uh, Mr. Thomas was saying that earlier he used typewriter and somewhere along the late 90s, we started coming across with email and that nowadays uh, this uh, e-commerce is there thanks to uh, latest trend and that uh, e-love is also there thanks to fa Facebook. Yeah. Um, <laughs> huh? yeah. oh. Huh? Okay. Whatever that is there, why not to take advantage of it and let me give you e bouquet. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome from my side. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, it is a. Uh, the train. Hope you know the subject why we have gathered here. It is a subject on training and development. Why do we train our employees? Why do we train our employees? Enhance their skill. Okay. Productivity. Okay. Any funny answer, please. Any funny answer. Change attitude. Okay, madam, which training has changed? Whose attitude? If they were to be there, this session would not have been there possibly. Okay. Fine. Now, anyway, continue. Next. Huh? Value addition. Okay. Any funny answer, please? Okay, okay, okay. No. In, in simple words, to avoid a situation of this kind. Hmm? Do you agree? If we do not train, we, we will have managers who are like this. Even after training also they do like this, that is something different. Okay. But at least after training, we can mitigate their woes. Okay. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Let us move further. When I have been conducting training for so much of time already, Ramya has told uh, about I conduct tra training program on soft skill, I, on that supply chain management, uh, selling skills and what not, come, uh, whatever comes in my path, I have been handling it. I, sooner I start the session, I ask one question, why are you attending the training? They should know why the, I should know why they have uh, to, means uh, why they have come here. So I get very funny replies. Do you want to know what are the replies which I have got? I have trained so far uh, participants for 35 plus industries. Industries, I am not talking about any company. Industries. So, look at some of the funny uh, replies, please. No, you are laughing, eh? Good. You are laughing. Please reserve your laugh. No, once again, it is related to your profession. <laughs> Good, you are clapping. Fantastic. Reserve your clap. I will give you one more chance to clap.
this is a real life situation i have not concocted a word let me tell you this is what reply I got especially last third one it has happened in mumbai there was a, <coughs> uh, a young lady participant and there was a glow on her face what was the subject inventory management no inventory management is a dry subject what is there to be a glow on her face it is not a it is not a sharuk khan film by the way <laughs> neither am i <laughs> i don't have even look similar to sharuk khan okay <laughs> Huh? Pardon me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and then finally, I have something is there. Yes, something special is there. I could not resist my temptation. And during lunch time, I asked, "Madam, what is the secret of your happiness?" Yes, and that was the secret of her happiness. Okay. Yes. So hope all of you have come on Sunday. Your secret of happiness is not on the Brigade Road, please. Do you? Huh? Okay. Okay. Fine. 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 Let's move further. We train our employees because employees are the brand ambassadors. What is <coughs> finally why HR? Whether we are from marketing, whether we are from uh, say purchase, whether you are from HR, why do we work? We work to promote our image of the company. and who promotes the image of the company it is employees promote the image of the company brand is not big ads in the newspaper brand is not just big holdings brand is not just uh, small ads every uh, which we see on the computer screen brand is what our employees are and the brand image enhances when we uh, train our employees and next is personal or organizational growth organizational growth is synonymous with employee growth employee growth is synonymous with organizational growth both are absolutely interdependent you cannot segregate one from another okay so let's proceed further so <coughs> you have been given some uh, notepad hope take a minute or so and write it in your uh, notebook what challenges you face in training and development what challenges do you face in employee training okay no what happens what are my observations as i told you last 15 years i have been conducting training i myself was a training manager and whole lot of issues i have face there are n number of issues some of the issues i have uh, this mention first and foremost management says we are too small training let us do it when we become 500 uh, employee company when we become 1000 employee company we are not in that category we are not we are still away from all this thing but little the owners of the business owners they, they understand that small or big customer uh, customer satisfaction is the mainstay of the business small or big the, there is no evidence that proves that small companies do not dissatisfy the their customer as much big uh, companies dissatisfy small customer small companies also uh, dissatisfy their customers and naturally small or big is not a issue in deciding whether you should have a employee training or not next is no support from uh, leadership 
no large number of times uh, this one hr organizer said uh, telephonic discussion or a personal meeting with the md sir sir please tell me tell him sir uh, training is required no generally hr are known for to shut uh, uh, this uh, to keep, uh, keep a gun on someone else occasionally they have used my uh, shoulder and to fire okay let us see whether uh, succeeds next is employee training considered as event event in the sense okay we will go somewhere we will go to some resort and we will have some fun activity a fun filled activity employee training is a hr regular hr process employee training is not a event where you go outside for one day two day outing a two day outing employee training cannot be given a status of a event next is nominations are not received no many times what happen i have observed that uh, hr organizes a training program everything is declared date time everything subject uh, this uh, everything is declared no nominations are there two days before i get a call no the training program we are postponed indirectly it is cancelled and training program is postponed because there are no nomination because uh, managers have not nominated their staff at all this one more challenge is there disappoint uh, disappointment because of roi manager hr organizes training management also organizes training but that uh, afterwards there is no change how to measure the roi and since the roi could not be measured then the, uh, this uh, hey, come on training uh, doesn't create any kind of uh, impact on the employees let us give it up what i have what i have attained hope you have heard the word typical word that uh, money minded have you heard this word most of the bosses are money minded no, i don't know how many of you will agree but they want their returns i have spent x amount of money how much i have got and since we are unable to provide again the training uh, is given a short shrift and inability to measure the roi no hr professionals are smart of course occasionally what happens they know very well they will be ask a question how you will measure the roi maybe from finance maybe from audit as the case may be why to get a why to get into trap better to avoid the trap let's not have a training at all that also i have come across with the situation and these are my observations for the employee training and we will proceed how to avoid these kind of challenges so this is the general tna process just go through the slide do you agree with this yes what is missing what is missing specially from individual and organizational factor in this left hand side something is missing to identify the training needs what is missing okay who can tell me yeah individual employee feedback individual employee feedback that will come feedback by managers or uh, his, performance appraisal no, uh, self so self assessment competency. Huh? Competency, mapping. competency mapping anything else more than that feedback complaints by my uh, career development you can do it in career development <coughs> okay anything yes. else changes we are to anticipate the changes and that is that is new business ventures organizational issues that is suppose you are going to do expansion new product uh, you are going to launch a new product these are all organizational issues something is missing very very important that is the source of your employee training gap and lease ha huh? gap and lease what uh, yeah organization goals organization goals that is your new business venture organizational issues you can say so organizational vision mission will come again in more or less issues organization issues related to organization related to one organization something vital is missing what is that behavioral that will come in customer complaints by customers 
फीडबैक बाय मैनेजर्स कॉम्पिटिटर्स दैट इज युअर ऑर्गनाइजेशन इश्यूज मार्केट रिसर्च Continuous improvement will come in organizational issues. Something vital. How much you are away from finance field? It shows budget, the cost. Budget, budget, huh? Budget. 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 Cost cost. Cost. That will uh, complaints by customer. Gentlemen, your balance sheet. Balance sheet is the number one source of your training need assessment. your training efforts must get reflected in the balance sheet no my question is revise uh, little bit stretch and find out which is the ratio that is reflected on the balance sheet which is most effective to capture through training need analysis can you think it over hmm? yeah which is the ratio financial ratio if you look at the balance sheet of any company there is a section called as financial in this section called as financial there is a, a, a section called as financial ratios which is the ratio any idea hmm okay no problem the number one ratio is inventory turnover ratio no all of you many of you for that matter all of you are from manufacturing sector am i correct yes. most of you are from manufacturing sector and this ratio is vital unfortunately what happens itr you may not come to know if it is uh, yours is a private limited company but in public limited company you will get in the balance sheet of the company okay and inventory turnover ratio is such a ratio that speaks so about so many things in school days what we learnt that when rays of light pass through convex lens the rays of light converge at one single point and same thing happens whatever organizational activities we talk about your vision mission uh, and then team building organizational communication so competency building finally it gets reflected in inventory turn or ratio what uh, by how, uh, <coughs> how you turn your inventory because what happens in manufacturing sector there is a typical triangle called as pps purchase production sales and this ratio shows how much coordination is there coordination or lack of coordination communication everything gets reflected over here look at this ratio and it speaks everything about the company this is what my observation is the next uh, is overall equipment effectiveness ratio it is very much applicable to your uh, manufacturing companies next is gimroy that is specially applicable to retail sector gross margin return on inventory uh, investment and number of innovative ideas generated of course it will not get reflected in uh, balance sheet of the company as far as the organizational ratios this uh, this is your starting point is there for your employee training from where to start your employee training measure the organizational ratios any doubt you have shall we pro shall we proceed yes. okay okay in the course of training i have come across with something very very strange things the sometimes i wonder is this what is happening so many uh, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, examples i have written but possibly i might not uh, tell because it will i can i can't go on telling the examples after example but very latest one very latest one i let me share with you i conducted training program on inventory management no i sent a regular questionnaire and in the regular questionnaire uh, this they gave the replies but the information was insufficient so i asked for the telephonic inter means uh, discussion again i was not satisfied i made a personal visit and then i i made uh, this notes whatever i wanted to do really means uh, i understood thoroughly what are their challenges nevertheless in the course of training i found they had hidden something skillfully from me they had hidden something skillfully from me and one of the participants told that in la just 2 3 days before they had scrapped inventory worth of 1.7 crore 17 million inventory is get scrapped okay in okay inventory do get scrapped one or two percentage if it gets scrapped nothing wrong in that 
in this particular case in this particular case it was 20 percent what was the size of their inventory it was 8.5 crore or 85 million out of 85 million if you scrap 17 million that is 20 percent it is certainly a serious issue and why things have come to such a pass where you had to scrap your 20 percent inventory now tell me how many months or years it was uh, taken forward almost for two years no for two years you are showing 20 percent of the obsolete inventory on your ca carrying forward carrying forward even if you uh, the 1.7 crore sorry 17 million not uh, this uh, this one and even if you take a 1 percent interest you were losing 1 lakh 70 thousand worth of interest per month this is the starting point for your training what's happening unfortunately at the end of the session when i spoke with hr this is what is happening hr in the ignorance i did not know this and this is the starting point of your organizational issues when we do the training need analysis what is happening in our company we should know what is happening in our company otherwise training efforts get wasted why we lose uh, this uh, well, well, confidence of our management why we do we lose confidence of our, of our leadership is because we do not address exactly to the exact issues one more example i will give i train 17 procurement professionals of a very very prominent it company 17 procurement professionals of very very prominent it company and they had come from all other uh, nearby cities of bangalore like chennai hyderabad coimbatore they had come there okay and in the course of my training they told that uh, these uh, operations manager or software engineers they give the indent i want this hardware tomorrow i want this software tomorrow or uh, they don't give sufficient time where we can do the sufficient market research yes otherwise we wanted to explore the market is there any second hand uh, product available why we should do, uh, buy something first and is there can we do uh, can we take on lease there is no time given to speak of i told have you met the lead time chart lead time chart means when the indent is read within certain specified time you can fulfill the requirement we have circulated okay but then uh, if you have uh, uh, this one prepared the lead time chart it is circulated also it is known to the operations managers also Wh why is it happening why don't you approach project manager then they are not giving us a chance they said the project manager himself is approving we can't uh, overrule it okay no i told them okay do this survey for the last uh, uh, financial year find out how many indents were raised for the operation purposes how many indents were raised for the operations purposes and how many added to the lead time chart the gentlemen hold your breath the funniest thing something very strange emerge that 85 percent of the indents did not meet lead time requirement chart 85 percent and this is the situation is and I ask, by the way, why don't you approach then HR? Because nobody is listening to you. Why don't you approach your HR? Tell him that this is what is happening and we are losing money. Because, uh, by the way, what is your procurement uh, spend? 300 crore. No, suppose if you are uh, not fulfilling the 85 percent indents are raised without the uh, this one lead time chart. What do you think? How much revenue you could be losing? Roughly take 2 percent. I am losing 5 percent uh, at least by 5 crore because of this problem of emergency and uh, uh, urgent, urgent and emergency. Why don't you approach your HR? No, I don't want to. He is not going to solve my problem. Why don't you approach your CFO? After all, you report to your CFO. You report to your CFO. Approach CFO. He is interested in only stock and Bombay stock exchange. What is the stock value? Beyond that, he is not interested. For 4 5 crore, you handle on yourself. This is the, these are the organizational issues. And when you conduct the training, that is my humble request is, I have been dealing with the HR professional day in, day out, competency mapping or this, this. The, you can give a focus, but give, don't forget those issues also. There are so many issues that these do not reach to HR at all. 
unfortunately these do not reach to hr at all large number of issues operational issues are there and that is the starting point for your training so <coughs> have you heard of this model kirkpatrick have you heard those who have not heard let me give the little bit of information on kirk model uh, kirkpatrick model donald kirkpatrick he was pro he is professor in wisconsin university and he was the first one who came up with this model on how to evaluate the training or how to measure the effectiveness of training the model was uh, uh, this first time floated in 1959 it was revised in 1975 later on again it was revised in 1994 and what this model says the level 1 is the reaction what is reaction reaction of the participant that how was the training how the training amenities were there what was the level of interaction how the questions were handled whether uh, what was what were the training means uh, uh, tools and techniques methodology and based on this what is the first reaction of the participant whoever <coughs> attended the training and that is called as reaction to the training that is also we try to capture through the feedback form at the end of the day do we take feedback form and that feedback form is called as uh, reaction and secondly then move, moving on mere reaction is not sufficient what donald Kar karpatrick says that you should go further and afterwards you should measure you should also measure how much amount of knowledge the participant has retained now that needs to be captured through some test so conduct the test after 15 days one month or some specified time and by taking the test you can measure the learning level 3 is behavioral application is the behavior change you have train him you have captured his feedback feedback is captured test is conducted but that is not sufficient measure whether the behavior is change whether whether the behavior is change so whether the customer satisfaction is means uh, the way uh, uh, customer issues are handled the way shopfloor uh, this activities are conducted measure the behavior change and what is the business impact business impact means what was increase or decrease that is what he says so this is the in general four levels of uh, uh, kirkpatrick model i will share presentation with you in case if you require <coughs> donald kirkpatrick added one more last this one level 5 also he added he initially he restricted his activities with four levels but he added one more level 5 and what are the savings accrued or what was the actual business impact was there any reduction in operational expenditure and that is what he <coughs> added one more level and that is the four levels of uh, this uh, four levels of kirkpatrick model and uh, the last level was added has anybody measured on this has anybody tried to among yourself yeah. any example please any example please any example no that is what happens in most of the companies it is very tedious to implement this model very tedious if you want to implement this model you need to have a lot of organizational maturity and lot of persons working in the training department depending on the size of the company suppose if you have say 500 persons in your company to implement this model in a, tra a training department you need to have at least 10 persons doing all this uh, checking whether the training effectiveness uh, how to measure the training effectiveness and in current business scenario it is impossible to have those many persons 
impossible no management will agree for a 500 employee company you are let me have some 10 even for getting five persons for the training department itself is a challenge generally there are one or two persons working in the training department so what is it know how to solve this problem we have to measure the training effectiveness how to solve this problem and this challenge where during my training manager day, days I face and I find that large number of HR professional continue to face this problem. How to measure the training effectiveness because uh, uh, nobody goes, I it would be too sweeping statement to say nobody goes but large number of uh, companies restrict their measurement only to level 1. Take the feedback and that is all but that is not sufficient. We need to go really measure the training effectiveness. So, are there any ways out? Are there any simple means? And I have been doing uh, research on this and I have come up something very different which is not written in any book or website. But I tell to my clients do this to measure the training effectiveness. It is also equally difficult but simpler than this. These are few models if you go to Google and uh, to measure the training effectiveness it is a long list. So, again it is a jargon, it is a jargon and catching those many models and getting into this will be a lot of uh, investment of time and energy. Who has got time to go through all these models and implementation becomes too difficult also. So, let us proceed further. No, the question HR professional face is how to make the HR uh, this employee training successful. Success, how to measure the success? Because we send the person many times HR professionals lament, nothing is happening, sir. All the, okay. we just go do the team outing, come back, we do uh, conduct the games, nothing is happening. So my first assertion in this uh, field is concentrate on organizational change. What organizational change I would like to bring in, ask question to yourself, what type of training you wanted to conduct that is a, something different, but look at the organization. Organization should be given precedence over the individual. Large number of training professionals, sorry, HR and training professionals what they do, they can look at the target as an individual. No. We are not conducting training for the individual. Yes, finally, individuals need to be trained, but organizational change has to be given the most importance. Training is only a medium. Training is not the end. What is the medium? Training is a medium to bring a change. Training is a medium to create a change. And change, this medium is not important. Change is important. So, what is that change is? Then ten, training should be a cost reduction technique. Through training, I must reduce some cost. Which cost? We will find it out. Whatever that cost. If any training that has not reduced the cost, it carries no meaning. And your uh, this one, whoever those bosses are there, your uh, whoever at the top authorities are there, they will not take you seriously unless you provide the evidence of cost reduction because of the training. And occasionally it is not possible to measure the cost. Everywhere it is not possible to measure the cost. In that case, have I reduced the cycle time? Have I reduced pro process turnaround time of any of the uh, this one process? At least let us measure that. So, change it boils down to some change. It may be when I say organizational change, it may be within department. Within the department, it could be related to some section. Within the section, it could be related to some process. But change, what change am I going to bring in? Ask a question. And then ROI is cost before the training and cost after the training. And that is your ROI is. If the cost is reduced, that is your ROI. If the cost is not reduced, that is you, are not, you could not get ROI. And cycle time before and after the training, that is also means of measuring the training effectiveness. So, since you are from manufacturing sector, can I ask you a question, which are the costs associated to your area of business? 
which are the costs associated to uh, your area of business. Because preceding slide what we spoke, we spoke about cycle time, we spoke about cost. To measure the training effectiveness, cost before the training, cost after the training. So, which are the costs involved in your area of activity? Can you please tell me? Raw material, manpower, okay. Employee cost is there, but it depends on some another cost. Yeah. Raw material, who has told that is 100 percent correct? Maintenance cost, very good. Huh. Spares is again your inventory. Okay. Yes, transfer. Okay. okay. Yeah. Cycle time is not a cost. Yes, scrap, scrap generated. Yes, quality cost. Otherwise, you can say rejection cost or quality cost. Yeah. Power consumption is your operations cost, part of the operations. Marketing is yes, marketing is there, sales and marketing cost specific to manufacturing, specific to manu huh? rejection. We have spoken earlier. Anything else that is part of your inventory carrying cost. One important you have missed out that is your operations, huh? huh? That, that will come under the uh, operations. Part of the operations. Land. That is your capital cost. Fixed cost No, inventory carrying cost of the raw material that is your primary cost because most of you are from manufacturing. There are three processes involved. You buy the raw material, you store it, you process it, you convert into finished goods. So, once you buy the raw material and store, store it, it involves the, your cost and there is a process cost and what was missed out was inventory carrying cost of the finished goods that is also cost why why you were required to uh, uh, this one store the finished goods and by, for how much time you have uh, uh, this one stored it that is also the cost cost of work in process inventory when the raw material is moved to the production how long it remains on the production floor how much time it takes how for the conversion and that is also the cost inventory carrying cost of fg uh, finished goods which anyway i have told distribution cost which somebody told transportation that also is there rejection cost we have covered river cost we have not uh, covered yeah pardon me yes river cost cost of stock out which we have not considered why the there are stock out situations everywhere and what is the cost of involved in it and then capacity cost is the capacity underutilized what is my capacity cost and if capacity is too small and this uh, there is a over utilization of the capacity that is also a cost and then setup cost large number of times in manufacturing what happens we take the production of uh, uh, a product in meantime, customer uh, who has ordered something B, he starts shouting, we, uh, we leave aside everything for A, we start taking up B. In meantime, uh, customer, third customer comes, he start shouting for C, we leave aside A and B, we start uh, 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 this one <coughs> production for C and then we remember for A also and this is how the most of the time production goes on, but in, it involves your setup cost. And then line stoppage cost, line stoppage cost is because of your two factors. One is non-availability of the material which we have considered cost of stock out and another is your ma this uh, faulty machine, machine, down machine, down. machine down time, yes. Line was stopped because of the faulty machine. No, all these costs, your business runs on these costs and these costs should be very, very important to you. 
no again hr professionals say again when i tell them you need to measure this cost who knows how to measure this cost then training should be conducted how to measure this cost is not just a measurement scientific measurement i should know how to measure this cost scientifically if you are not measured the cost measured but not scientifically again it will give inaccurate result what is the use of those inaccurate results and that is the starting point for your training when i told that cost before the training and cost after the, after the training if you want to measure the training effectiveness address this cost who conducts the training that does not matter whether internal trainer or external trainer or uh, regular your own manager that does not matter but the cost should be reduced and that is the essence of your the conducting employee training is and that is where the when the training efforts are not addressed to specific cause these are bound to get when sir bound to fail and measuring the effectiveness becomes very difficult no the in the course of my <laughs> training i come across with large number of things where why the employee training fails i have written uh, one article in local newspaper deccan herald it was published in 30th august 2008 some pretty 7 8 years ago why employee training fails my article was published some of the points i had written at uh, that time let me repeat those points over a period of time i had uh, uh, i found large number of other points also no occasionally employee training is considered as a panacea panacea means a solution for everything training is not a solution for all the organizational problems some of the organizational problems the issues are addressed uh, separately no take the case of attrition in case if you uh, 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 this one if you want to address employee attrition as one of the issues through training 100% you may not succeed at uh, causes of attrition could be occasionally different and this is the one of the challenge that training is not panacea for all the problem the non trainable staff no in one of the hotels i observed just i keep on going for the training this is what uh, my job is the way we just know to took a food i too was standing in the queue when that uh, waiter he was standing little bit aside supervisor called him and he told you be there you be to the dessert counter no he stood the on the side of the uh, this one counter where generally you and me stand supervisor had to be that uh, supervisor told him no no you don't stand here you stand behind the counter no imagine if you have that kind of a staff where they need to be told which side of the counter you should stand are they trainable can you call this as a trainable staff occasionally the staffs are too raw and they are not at all trainable that is also a cause of the failure of the employee training next is no learning culture occasionally i have seen in the companies i have said no i uh, occasionally i have studied the culture of the company and i am little choosy person i have said no thank you do uh, you may give it to someone else because i may not be a suitable person because you need to have a culture of learning in the company and staff occasionally too demotivated because of variety of the reasons again that is also one of the challenge primary secondary duties are not defined what is not related to me i am being told no believe me what is the logic of sending marketing person for a training on uh, inventory management what is his job he is into marketing what are you recommending no my ga my ga i have got a email from hr i should attend so and so training i have come and i have sat down and that is what happens the misplaced completely mispl uh, misplaced training efforts then career development plan of the employees not uh, made and very low employee count no what happens during the good old days of personal management whatever the manpower count was there we used to make a provision for their leave also 
we used to make a provision for their uh, say uh, other uh, uh, sickness factors also and on and about the whatever that manpower count was there we used to keep some manpower standby but lately we are conducting we are running a business with completely a lean manpower there is no provision for standby and since there is no provision for standby there are uh, the, uh, the this one <coughs> it is not possible to spare the manpower at all. That also is one of the challenge. Why the these are the organizational factors. I have seen my managers waiting uh, outside. Like, uh, please call him. Call him for some time. They keep on waiting. When your uh, training is going to finish, uh, one o'clock. Can you please uh, this one? Send him at twelve thirty, please. I want him. Managers keep on waiting, loitering outside the training hall. With these things, you cannot have, don't expect your training to succeed, please. Management factors. Training is considered as a cause. No, these are not, this is not for us. Why, why to waste the money, by the way? Anyway, uh, there is a permanent, uh, uh, this one, HR professional permanent face one more challenge that if I conduct the training and what if the employee leaves? He, my, I don't want to conduct. Uh, uh, I don't want to convert my company into a training center. I train and let uh, someone else take the benefit of it. That also is one more challenge. And then calculate losses caused because of the non-training. No, uh, since uh, we are unable to calculate again, uh, this uh, training fails. Then no employee development career plan. Me too approach. So everybody is conducting the training. Everybody conducts this uh, uh, training on communication skills, team building. Okay, we will also do it. We don't want to lag behind. No, that is uh, again it is bound to fail. Why we are doing it? Why you are nominating it? The, if there is no clarity, it is bound to fail. And then training becomes unwinding exercise at Goa. Yes, I have been to go. I have been to Goa for so many times for conducting the training. No, once what happened? No, as usual, I conducted some games, some energizers. But whole day you can't go on uh, conducting the same thing. People were dozing. Okay, they kept on dozing. They kept on dozing. Finally, I asked, "Why, why you are dozing it? Why? What is?" It? No, yesterday uh, this uh, uh, till early morning, uh, two o'clock we were taking drinks. We were enjoying. No, <laughs> no. If these are the reasons, if the, these are the reasons, training is bound to fail. What is your focus? If you want to send them for some vacation, unwinding exercise, please send them. Don't try to lump learning with this. Learning is a far more serious business. Learning requires concentration. Learning requires devotion. It cannot be uh, linked with pleasure activity. But again. Occasionally, HR or uh, uh, bosses do not understand. Break in modules. Uh, okay. What occasionally, sometimes uh, I get a requirement. It is impossible to spare the staff for the whole day. What I uh, suggest you, every day you come for two hours. I tell them I conduct corporate training. I do not conduct corporate tuition. There is a difference between training and tuition. I don't conduct tuition, please. It is not possible. You will not get uh, this one. Return on investment, if you start conducting for one hour, two hours, and then budgetary, okay, uh, propensity to, uh, towards use of particular uh, tool of training. I keep on getting the calls. Do you conduct psychometric training, psychometric test in your training? Yes or no? No, I am not going to do it. Do you conduct so and so? Okay. How does it matter? Why you are so emphatic on particular tool of training? Do you conduct only games? I do not want PPT. I do not want uh, this, uh, uh, any theoretical knowledge, only games. Do you do that? All these are the tools of the training. Why? As a HR professional, as a training professional, how does it matter to you? Your focus should be on a change. If the change fulfills, everything should be fine. What Mao Tse Tung, that uh, once Chinese premier has said, as long as ca cat catches the, uh, uh, it does not matter to me, the uh, color of the cat as long as it catches the mice. Whether the cat is black, whether the cat is white, it continue to catch the mice. So, do not concentrate on the uh, this uh, particular tool of the training. Then preference given to gender, industry, foreign institute, etcetera. We want only female trainers. 
no, eh, in case, no. no, in case, in case, if there are some women issues, I can understand, yes, there are, training is occasionally conducted, especially some le lectures are conducted on the health issues, okay, fine, absolutely fine, and how to handle the sexual harassment, certain topics are there only for women, please do it, but how does it matter, any given, any training? Then, are you certified by so and so? I want, I want trainer to be certified by so and so. How does it matter? Where are the case studies from that particular institute where they have shown ROI and training? Who has got case study? Show me. I, it would be my pleasure to see it. It carries no meaning that. Uh, and again, foreign institute, same thing, industry. Occasionally, I keep on getting a kind of, Have you handled uh, training on steel industry? Only one question was asked. Have you handled the training on steel industry? No. No? Thank you. We don't want anybody. How does it matter? How does it matter? Your focus is on change. There is no evidence that suggests that persons from when they train by your industry only, you succeed. There is a corporate decline. There is a corporate success, even or otherwise. Both sides, there are adequate evidences. Hmm. No, the question comes, again it boils down to managers, general managers, VPs, what they say. Most of the time what happens, in every industry there are one or two leading lights are there, one or two top notch companies are there and at the ground level, B level company, C level company, what they do, we should do. What they do not do, we should not do. This uh, training does not happen there also. No, as far as this hotel is concerned, if you look at it, the Taj group, Oberai group and then ITC group, these are the leading groups. What they do? All the budgeted hotels will do, uh, two star, three star they will do. What they do not do? You, they will not do it. Why do you link your requirement to someone else? You maintain your own individuality. Why you succumb to it? Not required. And then, th uh, Managers treat uh, training as HR department only, manager themselves are not trained. In case if managers have not understood the value of the training, they will never spare the staff. I had a privilege to work in a MNC or see closely working of a MNC where managers were uh, this promoting a learning culture and that time they did not bother about delegation, managers did the job of supervisor and they sent supervisor for training. Okay, you are uh, going, tra you are going for training. That means you are improving your effectiveness. Your effectiveness is my effectiveness. Your effectiveness is my effectiveness. No problem. For that period, I will do your job. But that kind of learning culture you need to have. And then priority to given day-to-day uh, -day activity. Number, huh, no, last is something very, very important. Why, why you think? What is the reason VPs or directors attend the training? Do you know? What is my observation is? Why VPs, GMs, VPs, directors, they attend the training, they attend the training depending on the number of stars of the hotel. Many times top bosses will never come in two star, three star hotel. If the same training is conducted in five star, they will attend. No. There is learning you cannot link to the number of stars of the hotel, please. Learning is a something very different activity. Your organizational effectiveness will not depend on if the training is conducted only in five star hotel. My observation, serious observation is this, please. So, these are some of the factors. Go through the staff factors. Insouciance of the staff. Insouciance means casually, casualness. And then training they were conducted on Sundays, holidays. We can't spare, spare the staff on weekday. It is impossible for us to uh, spare the staff on weekday. You can conduct only on Sunday. But have you thought of the psychology or a mental frame of the mind who come sit in front of you? No. They never thought. And uh, training is taken very negatively, very negatively. Absolutely. And after lunch, they start generally, uh, no it is, I have stopped because of my uh, very bad experience. Sooner the lunch is over, generally they tell some manager to come, sir, 
कैन यू प्लीज फिनिश बाय टी ब्रेक अप टू वॉट टाइम इट विल गो ऑन फाइव सर फाइव थर्टी इज टू मच लेट अस फिनिश इट एट लीस्ट बाय टी ब्रेक एंड द निगोशिएशन स्टार्ट सो द काइंड ऑफ फ्रेम ऑफ माइंड इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर लर्निंग इफ दैट फ्रेम ऑफ माइंड इज मिसिंग फॉर द लर्निंग ट्रेनिंग विल नेवर सक्सीड माई का लुक एट दी एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर ट्रेनिंग इज ओनली ए मीडियम ट्रेनिंग इज नॉट एंड इन इट सेल्फ डू नॉट लुक एट द मीडियम लुक एट द एंड रिजल्ट नो वॉट यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय ऑर्गनाइजेशन रिसर्च कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी आई हैव रिटर्न फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ ऑर्गनाइजेशन रिसर्च Hmm? Yeah. Before conducting training, you should do some research of your own organization. What is that? Employee opinion survey. Okay. Very good. Very good. Good. Fantastic. Any anything else? What is their feeling towards the company? Employee opinion. Sir, sir. Opinion survey again. Sir, sir. Satisfaction survey. Yes. Gap analysis. Competency gap. Competency gap analysis. Okay. Anything else? Competitor. Okay. Competitor. Anything else? Stand That is not organizational, another. Competitor is outside outside your organization. Anything else? Skill matrix. Skill matrix. Okay. Where do they stand? Actually, where we need the training. So which kind of training we need? Okay. Okay, we will uh, come to the uh, next slide. Here, the important uh, lopsided. One of the points is lopsided importance to one department or uh, this one, one section. No, in certain industries, only certain staff are trained. Take the case of pharma industry. In the pharma industry, only training matters to them is for those uh, uh, medical representative. No, that should not be the case. Uh, all are important all are important but maximum their 90 95% budget goes only for this particular category no this is absolutely lopsided importance and it happens at other industries as well and what is the difference between training is not spoon feeding why i have written this hmm? what is the meaning what is the difference between spoon feeding and training the individual should have an interest on training yes Yes, yes. There is a why employee training is conducted. There is a famous saying: If you give a man fish, you give him for you feed him for the day. If you teach him fishing, you f feed him throughout life. And training is equivalent to teaching him how to fish. Training is not given to uh, training is nothing to do with uh, feeding for that day. And that is something very very important. so organization research which anyway you have told let me proceed further no when organization surveys what are the drivers of the training we need to con this check what are the drivers are. there are various ratios related to quality there are various ratios related to quantity measure the ratios and if not cost which Uh, it uh, it is difficult to measure. You need to have a cost accountant in your company. In large number of companies, there are no cost accountant. And if cost accountants are not there, they may, again they may not give you the accurate figures for the training. So if not that, if uh, occasionally HR professionals are helpless also, what we need to do in that case. measure the quality before the training after the training quantity again it depends uh, timeliness or delivery process turn around time measure before the training after the training accuracy before the training uh, after the training cost before the training after the training all these are the drivers for your training measure these ratios Me ratio measurement is simpler than measuring the cost at least measure these ratios and address your training efforts to these whenever i have got a call from uh, hr or training professional when i ask what kind of research you have done have you done anything nothing is there 
no feedback is given even after the training we are forced to do some superficial survey sometime we are helpless no <coughs> most important question is asked how to measure the effectiveness of soft skill training how to measure suppose if the training is conducted on communication skills how you will measure it interview handling skills how you will measure it any idea communication skills based on the customer <coughs> feedback on the uh, speaker for example if a telecaller or somebody they also have a feedback that is one part of it but lot of other things are there when it comes to communication what you say is correct but 5 to 10% of it what about 90% of it any good listener hmm good listener okay training is conducted communication is again this is a lopsided importance given to the personal communication concentrate on the organizational communication please as a uh, this one hr or training professional your major challenge is organizational communication and i have seen large number of cases left hand does not know what right hand is doing and communication is not a challenge non communication is a challenge so what is the cost of non communication what is the cost of non communication that is your training effectiveness is when uh, interview handling skills for manager how you will measure it no. major 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 measuring the training measuring the training effectiveness not identifying please yeah how you will measure that is after attrition interview start taking place after attrition you start filling the vacancies okay how you will measure cost of poor recruitment before the training cost of poor recruitment after the training i recently i conducted a training program just two months ago i had been in mumbai and it was a pharma company i conducted training program for them or train their managers and it emerged because of their poor recruitment they had lost 10 lakh rupees in last one year 10 lakh rupees that was the cost of their poor, poor recruitment i gave them parameters i converted uh, all the participants into three and four groups come up with one case study of poor recruitment and uh, out of uh, three or four groups it emerged in last one year they had lost 1 lakh rupees uh, sorry 10 lakh rupees hope that's a hefty cost decision making how you will measure how you will measure decision making hmm any idea impact of the decision cost yeah cost of poor decisions once i conducted training program at pinia it was a manufacturing company person none less than hr head she was sitting next to me and uh, it was for 18 plant engineers i gave them uh, this one <coughs> uh i taught them rational decision making model and told them okay let us measure the cost of uh, poor decision which you have taken don't quote anything else don't quote any one uh, other person's example quote your own example only believe me it emerged that they had lost 25 lakh rupees only in last one or one and half year last one year predominantly hr head was stunned this is what is happening in operation this shop floor yes madam this is what is happening i told conflict handling skills how you will measure how you will measure conflict handling skills how to measure hmm cost of cost of conflict uh i conducted training program for one of the it companies in chandigarh rajiv gandhi it park i had been there and i gave them the same parameters uh, what is conflict and how to uh, this uh, what is the cost of conflict i gave them the parameters i <laughs> converted them into three four groups believe me it emerged the cost of conflict was 1 crore 30 lakhs for their company because of the conflict one project had to be scrapped and that is the co cost of conflict was team building very dear to us team building very dear to how you will measure the effectiveness so, so teamwork based hmm? on the performance team success of the project success of the project in your own area of business please tell me 
no more productivity. Process, please measure process turnaround time. Process turnaround time, if it is reduced, that is the uh, this uh, team team effectiveness smooth is smooth. See, your smooth could be rough for me. Smooth, rough, these are subjective words. You need to measure it. Anything, if it is not measured, that cannot be managed. How to measure time management? Training on time management. How you will measure it? Throughput time. Yes, that is one of the this ones. But yes, you may start something in time, but you may not uh, complete it something in time deadline. One of the ways of doing this is suppose in particular company there are 100 employees and if they work for 9 hours per day. So, it means 100 into 9, 900 are, uh, hours are there, 900 hour hours. <coughs> Being HR professional you have access to the uh, uh, attendance, find out who has work extra. Instead of 900 hours, how, who has put up extra hours and for what length of time. So, before the training and after the training, number of hours, if it is more than uh, before the training on time management, they were spending 1000 hours in office per day, no it has come down to 950, that 50 minutes were saved and again the training on time management also depends on turnaround time for the processes, that also is there. Interpersonal skills, how you will measure? Any? Any idea? Reduce the number of conflicts. Reduce the number of conflict. It is difficult to measure the on training effectiveness because uh, if occasionally it is a suppressed conflict and measuring the effectiveness is very difficult. For that, better to conduct the survey of the interpersonal environment and survey result before the training, survey result after the training. This is how the training effectiveness is measured. No, topics that can be self-learned that need no training, topics that can be self-learned that need no training, which are those meeting manners. No, occasionally I ca come across with a situation, they need, a, my participants need to be taught meeting manners. What is the level of education? All are engineers. Do engineers need to be told how to conduct the meeting? Is it a matter of uh, some external faculty to come and uh, you are all engineers, why can't you uh, self learn it? So, uh, that is the, uh, uh, these are some of the topics and I do not think that you should be wasting your training efforts or wasting your organizational revenue on this uh, hard on uh, this one uh, topics. Again transformer, occasionally I keep on getting a uh, this, occasionally I keep on getting a, a call. We, we wanted to conduct training on transform, transformational leadership. No transformational leadership, there are two types of leadership, transactional and transformational. But to, to uh, execute that transformational leadership, what kind of empowerment you have? Are you are your managers empowered by the way? What kind of transformation they will do? So, before embarking on a particular topic, before deciding on any particular topic, think of the uh, organizational factors as well. And same thing is about radical thinking. What radical thinking? Who has brought radical thinking? All these uh, occasional these words look, phrases look quite fancy, and these are fit for on some uh, newspaper. In every Wednesday at uh, Times of India, one supplement is published, Times Accent, and all these things uh, are published. These look fancy, but only in newspaper. Do not get into the practical aspects of it. So, the first and for these are the uh, uh, cases where you cannot measure the training effectiveness. If it is induction training, if it is on job training and ask a question is am I conducting a training or am I educating a person. 
Now suppose if a new product is uh, introduced, suppose if a new machinery is purchase, purchase if a new, new machinery is uh, installed, so whoever is involved, those workers, supervisors, they need to be given a training. That is not a training ideally, it is called as education and you cannot measure the effectiveness of education. It will be seen after once it gets into operation. So, first ask a question, is this a education or is this a training? And that is something very, very important. TTT for managers and managerial coaching, there, there also it is not possible. No, the last important question is, we are no longer in personal department, we are all HR professionals. What is our role? in 21st century. What is the role of HR professional with respect to training in 21st century? What is the effectiveness? We became HR business partners, now we have to impact whatever we decision makes should be impacted on. When we say business partner, any business partner think of the cost associated with business. Please make it a point. If we are a business partner, okay. Going beyond than that, anything? Any? Any idea? Okay, let me first and foremost, it is your, <coughs> it would be success, it would be your success provided if you are able to create the knowledge reservoir. Large number of training professionals, what they do? They conduct, they, they declare the training budget. There is a training budget, based on the training budget there is a training calendar, based on the training calendar they execute the training calendar and take a pat on the back. No, your job does not end there. What happened after the training, please encourage your staff to come up with certain case study that I learnt communication skills, I learnt decision making skills, I implemented it and I served this much amount of revenue tell them to come up with certain presentation, take a video and that video use it for self learning and then sales training and purchase training. When I conduct the training program on sales, I ask how many sales persons are there? No, suppose somebody says 10 sales persons are there. How many sales calls do they handle? They, they handle at least per week, uh, two sales calls they handle. So, per week 20 sales call per month 10 sales uh, 10, uh, 10 sales persons are there so per month how many sales call happen 200 hmm? 200? 200 sales calls are there per annum how many sales call 2400 sales call have you or uh, do you have a uh, 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 any system whereby you capture the sales call effectiveness i am talking about not dsr the sales call effectiveness no nothing is there so, why sell happen or why sell does not happen? There are no means to record in a very organized manner. So, when I conduct the sales training, I teach them what you need to write on sales call evaluation sheet. And as the sales call evaluation sheet, you start gathering it. When you do the analysis of that, it will give a insight why the sell succeeds or why the sales fails and that is your knowledge asset please. Nobody can take away from the knowledge. Uh, knowledge from you, people may come and go, but it will remain with you. Same thing happens with purchase also. Well, uh, uh, no purchase negotiations are uh, uh, conducted. Post, uh, post negotiation evaluation sheet. Have you maintained any record? No procurement profession maintains. That is your starting point please. And then calculation, how I reduce the, you are from manufacturing, all these three concepts are important to you, how I implemented EOQ, encourage your operation staff, how I implemented economic batch quantity, economic production quantity, all these quantities, how I implemented, what was the case, what was the situation, which formula I use, where I went wrong generate these assets, these assets will remain uh, forever with you and that is the knowledge reservoir. As a training professional, as a HR professional, we need to create the knowledge assets. Current economy is a knowledge economy. Gone are the days where strength of the organization remain on owning some physical assets or financially strong. Today's economies uh, are different knowledge economy what they say. You should have a better knowledge how to use those financial assets. 
how to use those physical assets and your success depends on that then culture of self learning as a hr or training professional it is better to create a culture of self learning there are many companies i have observed the their employees learn only if their uh, company conducts the training that is a wrong precedent never ever get into that kind of culture and then last is do not train where feedback is sufficient occasionally the feedback by the manager is also sufficient and uh, no need to conduct the training no need to don't waste your precious uh, organization funds on uh, some topics where just feedback is sufficient self learning is sufficient so this was my brief uh, this one description of the employee training uh, do you want to ask any question please Oh, here let me share my one more example contrary little contrary because I came across I conducted training program on business writing skills no that was a MNC and uh, they can they have a e-learning modules participants can nominate to particular e-learning they can log on they can learn and they can uh, uh, appear for test also most of the managers had a that test certificate but their ceo was fed up he told these people do not know how to write four sentences properly train them that also is situation so self-learning you need somebody to give a feedback also feedback is something very important any other question please anything else i have shared some of the my experiences this one any more no, okay yes, fine then this was my this was my brief uh, this one uh, presentation on training world is quite well, this one to 21st century demands to be in the race 21st century demands to be in the race hurdles or no hurdles your bosses are not going to bother whether you are uh, whether you have hurdles or not and you they expect you to be in the race so which side of the figure you want to be left hand side or right hand side right who's right my right or your right <laughs> huh? who's right your right or my right hmm? Hmm? be clear about it so thank you those who do not remain in the race they scratch their head how the hell this guy is racing so that question of right or left is very very important okay thank you thank you uh, once again bharat giving me chance to be over here so nice of you all the best to you bye okay i will send it to bharat Just hold on, sir. Thank you.